I'm a lazy bitch and I'm gonna get up to address the shit. You out of order. You out of order. Y'all haven't checked it out. Lazy bitch, Teach Campbell. Hey, y'all, this right here is your boy, Y'all Real. Here to give you guys a review for the Real Households of Atlanta. This is what? Season 8, The Reunion Part 2. Stay tuned. <laughs> So they start off talking about the bitching ass boat trip. And I say bitching ass boat trip because the word bitch was used that, you know, caused our Cynthia to, you know, kick a certain somebody and they puss it. Now, all this being said, you know, if y'all missed that video, y'all might want to go back and watch that particular review I did. That shit was funny as hell, funny as hell. But we just spent a whole, what, nine fucking minutes? Going in circles, round and round, we going about what? And then, I mean, here's the thing, you know, <clears throat> uh, somebody had uh, commented saying that the three fights that occurred on the show, which there were more than three fights, but Kenya was the common denominator. But of course, they're not including the other fights that happened before Kenya got there. It's one of those ways it's like, so she truly is the common denominator. Because especially with the last one, Candy even said, we probably should not have told her, her being Horsha, to go over there to Cynthia. Clearly stated, she like, that probably wasn't a good idea. And I feel sitting what the fuck she said. When I got up and I removed myself from the situation, that was it. Point blank in the fucking period. So to even come over there, now, me being me, I would have been like, it's the reason I walked over here, take your ass back on over yonder. Feel what I'm saying? And and regardless of whether he was drunk or not, the fact that, you know, Horsha let them put a battery in her fucking bag for her to go over there, ain't nobody problem but hers. But I loved how Kenya clocked her ass. It's like, but did you not put your hands on somebody three times? And then she brought up the assistant thing. Because if y'all remember, I think I probably said this on the Trending Topics video, or probably was one of the Real Households videos that we might get footage of it. And the fact that it was brought up in the matter that it was, there might be footage. We don't know if there's footage, but there might be footage. And she couldn't say shit about that. She couldn't say shit. And of course, you know, Horsha don't want to own up to what the fuck she did. And Cindy even said, like, look, yeah. Sorry, my thing went off. She was like, yeah. I kicked you, but all this other shit you're trying to say and trying to pin on me, I did not fucking do. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm kind of mad we just spent a whole fucking 10 minutes on this. And, I, <laughs> and you know, of course, you know, Shady Andy, Andrea, trying to sit here and pull uh, Sharan to it, talking about some, what about you and Kim and the wig? Well, she's like, uh -huh, that was a shift. That was an adjustment. Because <laughs> she looking at the head and just like, you even to get my ass wrapped up in shit. Not, not, not what happened seasons ago and seasons past. So. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Horsha, you out of order. You out of order. <sighs> out of order. <laughs> that shit is too merch, y'all. It's too merch. And I'm sitting here looking at the Shaws. I think the Shaws air oh April 10th. Yeah, okay. So pretty much by the time this shit go all oh, man, they're gonna bring the Shaws back. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to review the Shaws of Sunset. Cause you know I I, I did it last time. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do it this time. But got the family reunion and shit. You know, talking about Kenya and her family, this and the third. I'm surprised we didn't see Cisco on that, but that's okay. That's cool, because I didn't want to see her ass no way. And I guess uh, so, now y'all know people going to be fact-checking and whatnot. So um, a viewer, I guess, sent in a comment about uh, Kenya saying not having a, uh, having a relationship or whatever, um, or I guess mom not reaching out or something along those lines. But what about the uh, article that you did back in, I think they said 93? I don't know. I don't remember the year, okay? Because there was a lot of shit going on trying to take notes and shit. But what about that? And Kenya's whole thing is, 
that's not what happened and this is what it is but my whole thing is this you know regardless like i personally have issues with you know one of my fucking parents you feel what i'm saying it is what the fuck it is <clears throat> our shit is fucking crazy you know and it's one of those where i've always been the one to reach out 99.999% of the time and that is no fucking exaggeration. I have always been the one. That's not to say that, you know, fuck it. He has never fucking done it. I'm a fucking father. Is that it's nothing to say that he never reached out. You feel what I'm saying? But if I'm always the one to do it and you do it one one or two motherfucking times, I mean shit, we might as well count that ass motherfucking never. So uh yeah, whatever. Anyway. And now we got Patricia. You know, about, you know, him being in Charlotte, uh, and Cynthia being in Atlanta, all this other good jazz, and you know, and they were talking about it. And it was like, it sounded like you separated. He was like, well, it's no different than a soldier being away for nine months. I was like, well, you know, kind of have a point, though, know, you know. But, 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 but my whole thing is this. You know, don't talk if you don't know nothing about it. <laughs> okay, okay. And there's some other shit. You know, let me stop because I'm starting to do some. I'm, well, I'm not going to criminate myself, but uh, anyway. <laughs> And it was even mentioned that, you know, Horsha had a whole lot of shit to say. And she even said, she's, again, along the lines of, you know, there's a lot that I could say or don't make me say something. And P now here's, here's where Patricia fucked up. Now, she wasn't talking to you, Patricia. She was talking with Cynthia. And then he was like, I want you to, you know. And she was like, don't put him. I'm pushing you to. And I'm looking like, damn it, Patricia. Lord, why you talking? And, you know... I forget exactly how, but Kenya did insert herself. And this is one of those where it, it sucks because Kenya is inserting herself in a lot of stuff that does not necessarily, that she doesn't need to insert herself in because a lot of this is not her business. And all I'm going to say is this, she was just like, you don't know what you're talking about because unless you have a dick in your mouth, you don't know. And then she, I guess she tried to clap back saying, why don't you, why don't you worry about the dick that you tuck between your legs? But yeah, didn't nobody say shit about that one, but all right. And <laughs> you out of order, bitch. Okay, Andrea. All right. Uh, I'm going to jump out of sequence because I just got to address this shit. <laughs> so, Aiden comes out there, and y'all know Andy love him some fucking um, uh, Aiden. He just does. And, I mean, you know, come out there being as cute as can be, you know. And... And he wants him to be his, uh, I guess, help him co-host. So he sits him there and he's whispering what he wants Aiden to, uh, I guess, say to some of the ladies. All I'm going to say is, is, <laughs> shady bitch. <laughs> so, he, um, as Aiden, as Sheree, are you wearing she by Sheree? And the only reason that Andy is throwing this shit is because he knows that no one is really going to come for him. You feel what I'm saying? And he makes a horrible host. And I, and I, let me just say that because he asks questions and people don't necessarily directly answer his question. Mm, like he asked Kim on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate uh, Kenya's acting? She went a completely different route and never answered. Or on a scale of one to ten, it is this. So he sucks being a fucking host. But anyway, you know, going back to where we left off at. So you got Patricia, you know, uh, he and Portia. Oh, I said her name correct. Oh, whatever. So we'll get into it because, you know, she's saying how it's a list. He pretty much says, you know what? Publish the list. Run me over. <clears throat> and here's the thing. I'm not saying that Peter is not sleeping around. But um, Cynthia made a good point. He would probably be a little bit more discreet about it. And when he told her, publish the fucking list, did you see her face? All right. Rumors is rumors. And then you got uh, Fake Drug talking about Apollo and whatnot. That whole, you know, divorce thing. I'm not believing it. I'm not. They can miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with it completely. Okay. But she said... Apollo wants her to come back alone. And he and Andy talking about for a conjugal visit. No, it's probably because so they can discuss some shit without the kids fucking being there. 
I still think it was fucked up that she was even discussing certain matters about the meeting and the divorce and everything in front of the kids while they were in the fucking vehicle while she was talking to her mother. But again, that's not my family. Those are not my kids. I'm not in her relationship and shit. So I'm going to just get the fuck out of it. Not really. So the only thing that I'm going to, I guess, address from what just happened is... um. <clears throat> Of course, uh, Phaedra, you know, I'm, I'm saying everybody named correct today. I, I guess cause I, I, didn't, I didn't gave too much of myself to whatever. Anyway, she uh, was pretty much saying, now that I have gone to see Apollo this that, and third, pretty much <clears throat> y'all can stay out of my business and stay out of my life. Y'all need not have no opinions about it because y'all not in my life. Y'all don't pay my bills. And y'all dang sure have not been around to see my kids, so y'all should have an opinion. Something along those lines, again, I'm not sitting here trying to quote, you know, this lie, oh, yeah, I ain't doing all that, nah, nah. And, <clears throat> you know, Andrea is just like, well, who are you talking about? Candy was just like, well, I wasn't going to say nothing, but since she said something, I'm going to address everything. And I'm just like, well, come on, come on through, Candy. Give us a moment because we all know that Candy is not going to go in and she's not going to talk about certain things because there are boundaries. She better than me. <clears throat> Here's the thing. She better than me. Cause my whole thing is this. If I'm friends with somebody, if I'm cool with somebody, <clears throat> if we break off, we just break off. As long as that person keeps it cute and don't say shit and keep the shit on mute, we good. We Gucci. Now, depending on... Where I met that day and how close I done got to the big man upstairs. If I hear that you just sat here and ran your mouth and said some shit, trust me when I say, I'm going to have some shit to say. So my whole thing is, you want you you really want to open up this motherfucking can of worms? Um, nah, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't let me have to remind your ass. But she was even, but Candy Hill thing is like, we were not cool. So I don't know why you expected me to be around you when we were not cool at all. So that, that right, that nullifies everything. Cynthia even said, just you can't expect me or my husband to come through when you and I just got back cool. So it's one of those where she's trying to make these points, but these points are not valid. But again, you know, like, like uh, Kenya said, win a case. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Candy Bitch! Oh, Candy Buddy. Okay, all right now. All right, kid. Candy Buddy, give me what I need. Candy Buddy, give me what I need. So, okay. I'm not going to talk about that because y'all, y'all done heard it. Y'all piecing it. Y'all not watching it at the same time. Not the point. <laughs> but what I'm going to say is this. So, <clears throat> they're talking about the whole Glenn thing. All right. And and even as who all found him to be threatening. Only two people did, <clears throat> and that was um, Kenya and Candy. Now, I think this was probably in context of while y'all were there, <clears throat> but it was even raised like even in watching it back, and they're saying that no, that wasn't the case. Now, again, we all know that she ain't shit, ain't had much of a fucking storyline to happen because we still ain't heard shit about her and fucking uh what is it bob or is it rob or what's his name whatever the fuck her ex-husband when her my because she been sitting her ass on this motherfucking couch sidebar like a motherfucker but she ain't said shit ain't really been in shit so i'm trying to figure out what the fuck you talking you know because she was like well who invited him to the house and she's like yes i did invite them to the house but whole thing is like y'all because they were trying their damnness to paint her as a fucking villain. Did she invite him to the house? Yes, she did. She even said that she fucking did. <clears throat> and it was even as why didn't you ask production to have uh, to escort him out? So y'all want her to break that fucking fourth wall? So y'all want her to go direct like, cause, oh, because that's what the fuck we do now. We we engage fucking production. That's what the fuck we do. Got it. Got it. Danger. And she even said, when it was all said and done with, and they ran the shit, and this is what it is, whoop, wop, the whoop, bam, this is what the fuck came out being, so my fucking instincts were right. They gonna miss me with that motherfucking bullshit. They gonna miss me with it, because, and you know what, I'm just, I'm just waiting till Candy say what the fuck her, you know, non-moving teeth, mouth ass gotta say, I love Candy, though. But I, I, I'll be right back.
<laughs> okay. Mm. All right, C- Candace, come, come come on through, Candace. I'm not even finna give y'all another motherfucking candy invitation. Okay, because candy the gave me what the fuck I needed right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me let me pause this shit because because we go we gonna talk. Before I even say something, uh, I because I wrote it, I wrote I wrote a word down, and I hope when Mister Alexander Rogers watches the shit when um <clears throat> Kenya calls herself a hussy, you know, I was just like, she been watching somebody fucking reviews and shit, but we gonna scratch that. We we gonna scratch. Damn, damn it, why is everybody texting me? I, I'm gonna reply to this shit in a second. Hopefully, don't nobody call my ass. But. <laughs> Candy's whole thing is just like, y'all not finna sit here and blame Kenya for this shit. I was not there earlier, but from what I was there for, yes, this is what happened. And even in watching this shit back, you can't say that he was not wrong for what the fuck he was doing, for what the fuck he had said in its, in its entirety. And then she did, and you know, they some kind of agreeing, disagreeing, back for them. And then she clocked they, she clocked they had with this right here. Regardless of what the actually before that, Cindy even said that even if it wasn't Kenya, had any other fucking woman went up and said, Yes, you have to go, it wouldn't have been no fucking issue. It wouldn't have been no shaking at a hornet's nest. Wouldn't have been none at all. None the fuck at all. But because it was Kenya's issue, and then Kenya was just like, Regardless of the fact, as a man, and she's right about this, he should have never turned around aggressively, start throwing up gang signs, call her her name, like, hey, look, and then, and more or less advancing towards her. That shit should have never fucking happened. Everybody, probably, she was like, oh, and I can't, I can't quote her exactly, but some along the lines of, oh, can't got y'all tongues now. I'm like, come, come through, Candace, come through, shut the shit down. Shut the shit down. But that's all the fuck I got. Y'all already know I, I don't get too in-depth. Not, not not with these households. Now, the Atlanta. <laughs> y'all join me for uh, <laughs> Love Hip Hop. Uh, I'm sorry. The Love of Hip Hop. That's that's New York. Y'all join me for that tomorrow. I'm going to give y'all some in-depth shit. Okay. But y'all stay tuned because I'll give you guys Potomac after this. Holla. Rico subscribe. Peace.